Welcome this EBN, Daughters of the Kingdom. Praise, praise the Lord. This is a year of favor, a year of victory. God indeed has been with us from January and now we are coming to the end of this year. Oh, praise the Lord for the great things that he has done. Indeed, God has been good. My name is Pastor Josephine. I'm so blessed. We've been in this program together with you. Thank you so much for those who have prayed for us, for those who have you know, been watching, those who have commented, those who have sent their testimonies, those who have been encouraging us. May God bless you. We really say thank you. May God bless you. Today again, I'm with my friend, a mentor, a teacher, my designer as well. <laughs> She's going to say a word of greetings and pray for the program as we get started. Um, hello, everyone. Uh, this is my mother. <laughs> I'm a Zambian, and um, the first time I came to Kenya, she received me. So she has a mark in my heart. She's my mother. She's my mentor. She's my teacher. She's my role, my role model. And I love her so much. Thank you, Thank you so much for having me in this program. Yes. It is an honor. And may God richly bless you. Amen. Thank you so much. And uh, to all our viewers, uh, once again, we want to say thank you uh, for having walked with us in this journey of a virtuous woman. And all that God wants is uh, to have his baby girls, his daughters, to be what he created them to be. That's why we are here. So may the Lord bless you even as you uh, follow us and even as you listen to what the Lord has for you in this day. Amen. Let us pray. Our dear Father, in the name of Jesus, we really thank you. We bless you. We worship you. You are great. You are loving. You are kind. You are good, oh my Father. You are merciful God. And there's no one else to compare with you. El Shaddai, Elohim, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah El Shaddai, Jehovah Shalom. We praise, we glorify you, Lord. Thank you indeed, God, you have been so good unto our lives. Even as we began the year 2022, we never knew how it will go. Even God, we never knew whether it will come up to this day. But indeed, God, you have been so good. We really praise you. We praise you. We thank you, God, because of your love and your faithfulness. Thank you for watching of our lives. Thank you for gift of life. Thank you for gift of salvation. Thank you for the blood of Jesus. Thank you for the word of God that strengthens us, that washes us, that corrects us, that rebukes us, and that guides us. And the word of God that creates, even as the Bible tells us in the book of Hebrews, chapter number 4 and verse number 12, the word of God is sharper than two-edged sword. And I thank you because the word of God has created us, has transformed us to be vessels of honor. We thank you, we praise you, and we worship you. Thank you, God, because day by day, you've never left us, you've never forsaken us. Indeed, your presence, your goodness, and your mercies have been running after us day by day, Jehovah. Thank you for our families. Thank you for our churches. Thank you for our pastors. Thank you for our parents, oh God. Thank you for our friends. Oh God, thank you. Thank you, God, for the great things we've done. Thank you even for the good times. Thank you even for the bad times. Even when we have been low, Jehovah God, you have been our, you have been our strength. Oh God, we've trusted you. Even when we had difficult moments, Jehovah, we trusted you and you came through for us and we praise you. We honor and we glorify you. Receive the praise. Receive the honor. Oh God, even as a country, we say thank you. When we had the political turbulence, Jehovah God, you never left us. Indeed, God, God, you stood with us. Thank you for this great peace, even you've given us as a nation. Thank you for the leaders that you've given us as a nation. We praise you and we worship you. We continue to pray that you give them understanding, give them knowledge, oh God, and lead them even as they lead the Kenyans, oh God. We praise you. Thank you for our spiritual fathers, our spiritual mothers. We thank you because they're fed us with the word of God that has brought strength in our lives day in and day out. We magnify and we exhort you, Lord. And even thank you for 
EBN, we thank you for Reverend Felix Cavoy and even for the crew, oh God, who have been, uh, you know, working through in this, uh, in these programs day in and day out. And so many people are blessed and people are transformed. People are changed. Freedom has come to the life of thy people, oh my God. We exalt you, Lord. We are just celebrating your goodness. We are celebrating your faithfulness. We are celebrating your doing, oh God. And we say, thank you. Thank you, Father. Even for today's program, as we come to the end of this year, we just pray that God be glorified. For this is in Jesus' name, our Lord and our Savior. Amen and amen. Amen. Can we celebrate amen. Jesus for the great things that he has done? Amen. amen. Indeed, amen. God is good. He is a faithful amen. God. Amen. He is a faithful God day amen. in and day out. Amen. We are coming to a close of the virtuous woman. We have been learning quite a lot for weeks and weeks and our months. And indeed, Lord has blessed us. God has transformed us. God has lifted us. God has spoken to our situations. We've had many testimonies, many feedback of what God is doing. The word of God is yes. powerful. It's very powerful. The word of God it's creates. Powerful. The word of God transforms. It, it transforms. Yeah. Pastor Linda, welcome again. It has been really nice to work with you through the journey. And we really praise the name of the Lord. Our Thank today's you. topic is very interesting. Mm -hmm. As we come to the end of this uh, program, in 2022, uh, our children enjoy her. This is a virtuous woman. Mm -hmm. She 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 has grown. We have read from Proverbs 31, yes, from verse number 10. Mm -hmm. And today we are in number 28 and we are joining up to number 30. Maybe we'll read the scripture so that we can get a foundation of this woman. Proverbs chapter number 31 mm, and yes, verse 28, 28 to verse number 30. Our children rise up and call her blessed, her husband also, and he praises her. Many daughters have done well, but you exalt them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this woman we've been talking about in 2022, the virtuous woman, our children mm -hmm. enjoy. They yes. call her blessed. Yes. And her husband praises her. People are going to coffee and say, my well done. <laughs> Many daughters have done well. She yes. has done well. But the Bible says she, surpassed she surpasses. Pastor Linda, mm -hmm. let's talk about this woman, how her children are praising her because of what she has done throughout the year <laughs> and even the years she has been raising them. Um, you know, um, the virtue that is in the woman, it is a virtue that is of God. And uh, when you look at this virtuous woman, I think it's the way she raises her children. One, we have to realize that um, children, they love to be uh, cared for. That's true. So this woman, this woman has shown care to her children mm -hmm. from conception. Mm -hmm. You see, there are, there, are, there are so many women who would, who would hate their children, even from conception. Mm -hmm. But from conception, she loves her ch uh, the, the child in her womb, even as she brings this child out to her, outside yes. through birth, she still cares for this child. Mm -hmm. So this child bones from the time that she's conceived or he's conceived mm -hmm. from the womb. Mm -hmm. They feel that love. They feel that care. Yes. They feel um, that peace of being um, uh, within a mother who is so caring and loving, yeah. and and that can only be when uh, the the word of God is in you. I think the foundation of everything that we are saying yes. is the word. Once you, as a woman, you have the word of God in you, you will know uh, from the book of uh, Malachi, chapter two, I think, from verse four. Are down. The Bible says the reason why God brought the two together mm -hmm. and made them one is that God was seeking for godly offspring. offspring. So the moment you know that those children that you have are godly offspring, you never want to do anything to them mm -hmm. that will break their hearts. Wow. Yes. So and that is our starting point. We have to know that the children that we have they are godly 
offspring. God wanted our children, a generation that will worship him. Mm -hmm. So when we know that even the way we raise them, the way we talk to them, the way we uh, discipline them, the way we train them, yes. we'll train them in the will of God because these are godly offspring. Thank you so much for that insight. We are talking about this woman. Our children enjoy her. Uh, as we come to the end of this year, mm -hmm. uh, we thank God because God is really a blesser. And uh, this woman, the virtuous woman, she has worked very hard as God has ordained a woman mm -hmm. to be the God figure in the family. In the family yes. <laughs> she is ordained by God to care, to nurture, yes. to bring her. Mm -hmm. And we celebrate all the virtuous women. Moms, we celebrate you. We celebrate all that have been working so hard, yes. rising up in the morning, mm -hmm. going to work, going to the market, mm -hmm. you know, working in the house, yes. bringing in water, mm -hmm. disciplining, mm -hmm. training, training, washing, and washing, ah, and yeah. doing a lot of work. Mm -hmm. So as we come to the end of the year, we celebrate our moms. We, we celebrate, celebrate our moms. I will celebrate you. <laughs> I remember the story of the Queen of Sheba in the book of First Kings and verse number 10, chapter 10 and verse number 8. I think I can read this scripture so that we can celebrate the goodness of God. First Kings chapter number 10. It's a story of the Queen of Sheba. She was a really blessed woman and she heard about the stories of Solomon and she said, can I go and see this Solomon? Can I go and see who this man is, who is the wisest man in the world, who is doing great things? And when he went there, and she went there, uh, her expectation was surpassed because she thought mm, maybe it's another just another man there. Mm -hmm. But I want to encourage us as women, whatever we are doing, somebody has heard about it. Yes. No Queen of Sheba had just heard there's a man who has great wisdom. Who is, who is, so, so meaning that um, the mother raised him well. Yes, the mother raised him well. So this Queen of Sheba, let me read this scripture that we can connect. In chapter number 10 and verse 8, the Bible says, uh, Happy are you men, and happy are this your servants who stand continually before you, and hear your wisdom. Blessed be, that is number nine, blessed be the Lord your God who delighted in you, set in you on the throne of Israel because the Lord has loved Israel forever. Therefore, he made you king to do justice and righteousness. What a connection to this uh, end of year thanksgiving and you know praise unto the Lord. It is God who makes us yes. to have the strength mm -hmm. to give happiness and to give joy. Yes. You know, Queen of Sheba, she had heard about Solomon. Mm -hmm. And it is the same with us. There are people who have who have heard about what we are doing. Mm -hmm. And they're saying, hey, this child is very nice. This child is very respectful. Mm -hmm. This child is very honoring. This child is very obedient. When our people are praising your children mm -hmm. and they are praising your husband out there, mm -hmm. <laughs> who has done all that? It's, it is the mama. Yes. May God bless our moms God as we come mama. to the end of the year. Yes. Your work is known mm -hmm. outside in the courts, yes. in the countryside and in the city. <laughs> your praises Yes. out there. So let's talk about our children enjoy our Pastor Linda, what is happening for these children to enjoy their mom? Okay, let me read um, Proverbs 5. I love Proverbs because yes. it talks about life. Yes. Practical um, life. Practical life, yes. yes. Uh, Proverbs chapter 15 and uh, verse 4. The Bible reads, the tongue that brings healing is a tree of life. But a deceitful tongue crushes the spirit. Mm -hmm. God has given us uh, children as a blessing. And uh, the way we raise them, we can raise them either uh, we break them or we build them. So now a, a mother who, has, um, who does not scream when talking to her children, mm -hmm. uh, the Bible says that the tongue that brings healing is a tree of life. 
You always impart life in your children in the way you talk. The way we talk to our children, we can impart life in them. Mm -hmm. The way we talk to our children or the way we solve issues with them yeah. is very important. Mm -hmm. And that is why uh, this woman, is her children always praises her because she knows how to handle issues with her children. She knows how to, uh, she's not a screamer who always she's who raises her tone when talking to the children because the bible says our parents do not embitter your children so as mothers even when our children have done something wrong i think it is important the way we co co correct them it is also important the way we rebuke them mm -hmm. it is also important um when we are speaking to them when we show them the wrong things they have done, now you show them the right way. I was thinking, woman of God, that most of the time we beat our children or we 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 tell them the wrong things they have done, mm -hmm. but we've never had enough time to tell them the good things. The good things. <laughs> Very good, yes. <laughs> we've never sat down to tell them, this is how you should live, this is what the Bible says, this is how you should... Um, uh, treat elderly people this is how you should answer we've never told them that but we only beat them when they do wrong things but we have never had enough time to teach them what is good so these children cause the, they they enjoy their mother mm -hmm. because even when they do wrong the way the mother will bring them yeah. you know uh, uh the, correct them it is with love with love. Thank yes. you. Very, thank you very much, Pastor Linda. And it is true. So we are saying that as we come to the end of this year, 2022, the children of a virtuous woman, and this is spiritual children, mm. you know, biological, biological children, children yes. and any other person around them. She has impacted yes. in their lives. Yes. You know, it, recently I was just listening to one of the news in Kenya, uh, just here, one of the media houses. And there was a research that was done mm -hmm. that only 5% of teenagers, mm -hmm. they have respect for other people. That is very, dis yeah. it's very discouraging. Very. It's hurting, I mean. And uh, we are talking about this woman who is enjoyed by our children, by our children. because they respect her. Mm -hmm. And we are very... I mean, just pray that many women rise and disciple mm -hmm. and, you know, train and teach mm -hmm. yes. their children. Even yes. as we come to the end of the year, maybe you are looking around and saying, what can I really thank God for mm -hmm. in, the, in the lives of my children? Yes. yes, there's something you can thank God for. Mm -hmm. Maybe you've taken time to pray. For them, that's something to thank God for. Maybe you've taken time to, to train them, that's something to thank God for. If maybe you've taken time to teach, maybe it's one lesson, that is something to thank God for. So we have many things that we can really thank God for as mothers. Maybe more thanksgiving for mothers as we come to the end of the year. Ah, just like what you've said, we have so many things to thank God for. Um... Um, the struggle of taking our children to school, even when we thought uh, things were so hard, but somehow God made us uh, go through, come through, yeah. and we paid school fees for our children. Mm -hmm. We have something to tell God, thank you. We also have to thank God if you have teenagers who have not indulged themselves into drugs, yeah. into prostitution, mm -hmm. your children are still there. You can tell God, God, thank you. Because uh, there's someone out there who's desiring that her child can be like your children. And it's so instead of murmuring or only seeing the negative things in your child, there's something that you can look at your child and say thank you to God. Yeah, we, we have continue to thank God as much as women. We have many things, many things to really thank God. And in this in this session today, it just as we come to the end of the year, we are full of thanksgiving because God has done exceeding abundantly that we can think or even imagine. We are continuing this, don't go too far. We're taking a short break and continue with thanksgiving for the virtuous woman. God bless you.